Do you want to sell an online course, but you're not really sure what kind of page should you use for that? Well, we've got the perfect template for you. Let's check it out. Hello, I'm David from Thrive Themes, and today we've added a new landing page template in Thrive Architect, and it is totally dedicated to selling online courses. Now, with this landing page, you will have access to three different versions of this template, which means that you can apply it for three different kinds of online courses, right? Three different kinds of businesses. Now, let's have a look at the first one. So. It is something related to guitar lessons, as you can see. And if we have a look at this first section, it has a very clear message, right? Starting from the headline, which is simple and also efficient, right? It gets the message across very easily, right? You can totally tell that is something related to guitar, but not only from the headline you get this, but also from the image, right? Which is a simple image with a guitar, yet it is an image that is very professional. If we scroll down further on this page, we're gonna find some more information about the classes, for example, right? A simple quote. And then you get to a section where it says, you know, basically who is this course for, as simple as that. And then you get to this lead generation section where the visitors can drop off their email in exchange for the course. Now we'll talk about this a little bit later on. For now, we'll scroll down further and as you can see more information about the course, you know, a message from the author, a few testimonials here with beautiful design touches, right? Remember that this page was built by our wonderful designers. Then we get to a section about lesson prices and also a section where you can highlight your popular blog posts on this page, right? Another call to action. And then eventually, you know, you get to a section where you can find some details about the entire business. Now, let's take a look at the second version, right? I said that you can apply this template for three types of businesses right away, right? So you actually have three versions that have the same structure, the same design language, only, you know, the message is a bit different, the images and the color scheme. So this is the second landing page. And as you can see, it has something to do with cooking and cooking classes. And, you know, if we scroll down, we can see that it basically has identical structure and, you know, the same design language as in the first landing page. Now, if we go to the third one, as you can see, this is also, you know, similar design basically to the other ones. And it is something related to language courses. And if we scroll down, as you can see, the same similar design to the other ones. Now, in this video, we'll take a look at a few elements and you know what makes them special and how can you start using them right away in order to sell your online courses. So in order to do that, we'll analyze the first landing page. And I promise you this won't take long. You know, you can find some useful tricks on how to apply this on your site right away. So here we are in Thrive Architect in editing mode. And as I said, you know, with this landing page, by offering your courses, you can do that in exchange for your visitor's email address. And this is actually a great way to grow your mailing list, right? And now in order to properly do that, as you can see, the first call to action was somewhere in the middle of the page, right? And most of your visitors would probably not scroll down that further right away. And a good way to send them straight to that section where they can enter their email address is by connecting this button. You know, when they click on this button, they will be sent straight to this section. Or you have another call to action and you can basically send them either to that in the middle of the page or to this one right here. Now, let's say that we want to send them to this section here. So how do we do that? So in order to send them to this section, we need to give this section a label, right? So we'll click on this content box, we'll expand the editor, and then we'll go to styles. And here we have this section called ID. And we can simply write something, I don't know, this is only for our own 
use, right? So we can enter email, for example. Then we'll go back to the top, we'll click on this button here, and then we can simply type in here, you know, as we said, email, as simple as that. We have to use this symbol though in the beginning. Now we can save the work and now we can preview this page to see how this works. So here we are in preview mode and if now the visitor clicks on this button, he will be sent to this section and you know he can enter his email address. Then you can send them to a confirmation page, you know he has to go to his email and then in his email address you can actually put a link to a download page and on that download page you can actually download you know the free course. So that's basically one way to you know make it easier for the visitor to get your free course. Now something else that we can do is to make this phone number here clickable so that the user might be able to start calling you right on click. Now this works best on mobile but this can work on a computer as well if you have Skype installed for example or any other software. Now in order to make this phone number callable let's say we simply have to select it and either press Control K or click on this hyperlink here and in the URL field all they have to type in is TEL colon and then simply you know copy this phone number and I'll simply paste it in here now we don't want it to open in a new tab and we can simply insert it and as you can see we have created a hyperlink for this phone number right and it is much easier to get in touch with you now another way in order to make this entire process easier as you can see you have these icons here that are social media icons for example if your visitor wants to find out more about you and about your online presence he might want to access your social media pages so a simple way to do that is you know by we'll expand this here and if we click on Facebook for example as you can see this is an icon and in order to connect this icon to your Facebook page you simply have to go to animation and action here and you know create a hyperlink and here simply paste your Facebook page and by default here we have the Facebook, Twitter and LinkedIn icons and you can connect these if you want but for example, if you want, instead of LinkedIn, you want to display your Instagram account, it is very easy to do that. You simply have to go to icon options here, then here click on this indicator, and here we can search for Instagram, right? Here we have the icon, and you know, we have simply pasted it in this area. And in order to connect this as well, you know, do the same animation and action and paste your Instagram link in there. And especially if the visitor, you know, visits your page from a mobile, it is very easy for him then to access your Instagram account. Now, the last thing that you can do on this page is remember that I told you that there is a section here where you can highlight your blog posts, right? Make sure to change these. And here you can basically, you know, keep this section updated with your popular posts or whichever posts you would like your visitors on this page to see, right? You can post some, you know, some articles and blog posts related to guitar lessons as you have in these examples here and other than that you know you can update your pricing table as you can see this is a beautiful custom made designed pricing table by our designers and you can basically update it very easily with your own information about this course and also the testimonials you know everything you can set up very easily on this page. Now this pretty much concludes this video on how you can customize these new landing pages in order to start selling your online course right away. Now if you have any questions regarding this don't forget to leave us a comment below and also don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel because we've got some amazing videos coming up that I know you're going to be interested in. Now I really hope you enjoyed this video and see you guys in the next one.